This is Tyson Haskins on your Rectangles here for The Profile, where we feature people who are great at what they do. And today we're sticking around here talking to a local Park City artist. He's a gifted one. Let me introduce you to Austin Cummings. I don't want the full turn now. I'm Austin. I'm an artist and a filmmaker. I guess I found a passion for art uh, as a young kid, you know, uh, always uh, doodling something in the corner of your papers or something. You know, I grew up in the 80s, so VHS and, you know, Disney films were the thing. It was all about the artwork and the animation. That kind of stuff led me into comic books. Everything about the comic books artwork is connected. Every single image has to do with the last image. The collection to me is the coolest thing about it. Storytelling through images is great. I went to art school and film school at the, the Art Institute of Salt Lake City. The style of artwork that I that I choose to use, uh, you know, not just one medium at all. Why only stick to, you know, oil or acrylic or water paint? You could use ink uh, along with some form of watercolor uh, and then top it all off with digital touch-ups and it's just a cool way to bring everything all together. I have three full collections uh, at the moment. They've taken me a little while. The first collection that I completed is called A Darker World and it is a collection based off tragedy. On the internet, uh, like people share these like true horror stories that they've like experienced. I was reading through uh, and listening to a few of these stories and I was like, you know, it'd be cool to tell one of these uh, types of things visually. And then let's try to tell our own short story or make up your own short story from this unique image. So and took it out of me. I gotta get I gotta get into something a little lighter. And then I got approached by a production designer uh, for an art director um, for a TV show. They said that they liked some of the stuff from my Darker World collection. Could you maybe do something lighter toned, street arty? And that started my uh, cityscape collection. Landscapes that you know, that I've never really seen. When you add water to these different colors and stuff, they bleed. Uh, in very uh, unique, unique forms and shadows and shapes and stuff like that. Sometimes I put, try to push and create a stream. Sometimes I let, uh, you know, nature run its course. You can see monotonous, but every every piece that I did, uh, you know, every single line and every bead of water that's put in there is, uh, you know, therapeutic. <laughs> the uh, the next collection is called At Forest Edge. You know, the same sort of thing with the cityscape, but now we're just gonna do um, the same kind of thing with trees. What came out of that uh, creative process was just these series of forests. The most colorful and beautiful collection that I've done is the uh, At Forest Edge collection. My Instagram page is Austin Cummings Artwork. Most of my, my pieces that I do sell, it's gonna be a personal thing, a, you know, uh, lots of images are attached to like a one page short story or something like that that comes with them. I'm also excited for what else is happening uh, in the state. You know, I also, you know, uh, local filmmaker. Pretty good film industry here in uh, Utah. Most of uh, everything that I've ever sold has been for film and television work. It's so trendy to be that person that's trying to stand out uh, and trying to be original that trying to be original is now the new conformity. Especially when it comes to artwork, just do you. If people like it, people like it. If not, what are you trying to, you know, what are you trying to sell your artwork for anyway? Everybody shouldn't assume that, you know, what they're creating is some sort of like, you know, masterpiece that it should be looked at. It should be something that you care about. In anything you do, always aspire to be just a little bit better. I used to be a competitive gymnast. And after that, um, I was a competitive skier. And it's always been competition to me. And the best thing about, uh, you know, uh, is compete for, with yourself. There's always a better version of you right there. You'll continue to get better. You'll always continue to get better. You know, I, there's no way that you can digress if you're trying to be just a little bit better every single day. Special thanks to Austin for stopping by. Make sure and check out his Instagram page for more amazing artwork. And if you'd like to catch up on a profile you've missed, they're all available on a playlist on our YouTube channel at Park City Television. Thanks and we'll see you on the next one.